So here we are, what a glorious day, Thursday, 3rd of June, I'm Nick Wilkins, I've been on this bike now, the Suzuki Juxa 600, the smallest of the Juxa family, just coming in at uh, £8,000 on the road for about a week, I've been loving this, last video I did, I obviously took it out for a big long uh, ride up towards Bridge North and things like that, today I'm taking this out to Tamworth, I'm going to go to the snow down in front of the snowboarding lesson, it's been a bit miserable the last few days, so it's so nice to see the sun out again today, and uh, yeah, this thing, over the few weeks, I've been, well the week, I've been riding it, just grown to love it. The problem is, I mean, I love all my sports bikes, do you know what I mean? So it's very hard to kind of find the differences between um, all the different uh, types of bikes in this category, the Kawasaki, the Yamaha R6, and this. They are very, very different. I would always say, it's all about individual preference, you know? Uh, you need to go out and test ride it. But what I found about this bike is, it doesn't feel as peaky as some of the other ones. It feels like it's a lot more, almost easier to ride. It's similar in the way to the blade in that respect with the blade of CBR 600 RR. Well, they've got all that power, and you know, you feel like you're kind of on the edge, it's never, it feels a part of you, it's never going to try and kill you, where like for instance, the R6 I loved, I absolutely loved it, but it's just a little bit more peaky, more track kind of set up. But anyway, I could talk about this for ages, um, it's been a few days, I literally just want to get out on this and hammer it. I'm going to get the old uh, camera on with, uh, out the back part to it as well today, on the casing, so you can hear the engine again, so you get some nice uh, shots and footage of it on the twisties and maybe on the motorway as it's getting up to speed. And uh, when I get to uh, back from the snow dome, I'll let you know even what uh, I think of it today but it honestly it's just made such an impression you can't really go wrong with any modern kind of sports bike nowadays but um, this one's it's just grown on me and it was the one out of all of them out of the CVR 600RR the R6 uh, Kawasaki which I've obviously not ridden any quackers um, this is the one that probably didn't grab me the most um, maybe because it's styling and everything else but it's definitely definitely grown on me anyway enough jibber jabber time to head out I'll be late for lesson otherwise catch in a bit The Tamworth Snow Dome, as you can see in the background, with my beautiful Juxa 600 from the guys at Street Bike. Um, my Snow Dome Border lesson was awful. It's the same thing I did with last one. I missed about uh, six weeks of lessons. Come back, the first one, awful. But you don't need to know about that because the great thing was, right down here, I absolutely bloody loved it. Got some good onboard footage, going to get some more on the way back. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear that engine scream. This is my favourite sounding 600 bike. Now, I haven't ridden, obviously, the R6 or the Quacker at all, actually, with the Quacker or the Honda CBR 600R recently. I'm hoping to get a CBR 600R uh, in the next few days, just do a really good comparison piece with it. But I'm really, really starting to love this bike. Something about the way it delivers the power, it seems really, really smooth, but aggressive. That free stage sound on the exhaust, the Sebra, it kind of starts off slowly and then really, really builds and then kicks in again. And everything on it feels taut. Not too taut, though. Not like... Not like it's going to chuck you off when you hit a bump, not like it's going to throw you around, but it lets you know that you've hit that bump. I suppose that the word I'm looking for is really, really good feedback um, on a track. You know, I don't know if this would be as sharp as something like the R6, it's going to be sharp enough, but on the road, I'm actually riding it like a track bike on the road. You really want to as well, because it just delivers that power so smoothly, uh, it makes the most blooming awesome noise, and uh, yeah, you know, 
I say, the, the looks are starting to ground me, but as a rider's bike, it is brilliant just to get on the road, get some crazy action uh, under your wings. And the thing is, is when you ride something like this, as much as I love my big super bikes, you know, you remember that the 600, you actually have to ride a lot more. No, so I'm having a lot of fun on this as well, and I love this paint job, man, I love it. And I really didn't before, I was to say, I've always seen this paint job, and I thought, oh, it's a bit garish, but once you actually see it up close and nice, and with a new one, looks wicked. Brakes are great. You know, really is one finger braking the whole way, not as like as severe as say Ducati 1198 or 1198S or whatever, but feel really powerful. This one hasn't got ABS as well. Grip is superb. Gearbox is one of the nicest and easiest used gearbox I've used. Um, I often find trouble in 600 because I'm quite a big guy and I've got a big foot. Getting into third, trying to get my foot under it. No problems in this as well. Clutch is lovely and smooth. Genuinely, it's a bloody awesome rider's bike. And uh, to cheer me up from this rubbish snowboarding lesson, I'm going to get on this, blast the hell out of it, and get home. I'll see you in a bit. safe and sound, well, in one piece if you know what I mean. I am Luke Wilkins, Matt Cycle Diaries obviously, Suzuki Jix for 600. Uh, final part of the review for today. Just come back from Tamworth. Um, been talking about how this bike differs from the other bikes in its class. I think if you're talking about it, the R6 is more extreme, slightly quicker top end speed, a little bit more kind of track set up if you know what I mean. The Blade is just a great all round bike. You know, all of these bikes are amazing. We are talking minimal differences. This one though for me, I think is probably kind of almost a nice balance between the two. It's got a little bit more of a racer feel about it. But as I say, it's quite forgiving, not in a, an amateur way, but in a, in a way you want it to. It's got great feedback from the suspension and the brakes. Acceleration is just amazing. Although it's not got anywhere near the top speed of the R6, but that picks up at 172, this is about 160. Just still delivers a lot of torque, and the power band is very, very different. I'm just really, really enjoying it, to be honest with you. And uh, the great thing about it is, as I was saying, you really hammer it and really give it some. And you're looking at a machine here that do not 60 in 3.5 seconds, 160 mile an hour, top speed, cost you £8,000 brand new. That is an incredible stat. Um, and, you know, it's a thing with Suzuki. They may not be the prettiest bikes. Obviously, it's all down to opinion about that. For me, it's not. But as in the ones for ride that I've had the most fun on, I might scare myself more in the R6. Could probably commute easier on the CBR. Oh, they're saying that. There's a thing that's been getting me about this. I've been doing kind of hour, hour and a half journeys, place faces and back. And it's a 600. I'm six foot three and kind of 14 stone. And at no point has it really got uncomfortable. The other day it was about an hour and 45 and it started getting uncomfortable. So this is a 600 racer that if you did want to commute on, you could. Now, obviously, I'd suggest a bandit, um, bandit, the bandit S650 or the baby jukes, uh, baby jeeking even, or even the GSL 600 if you wanted to just use it as a commute bike. Because it's almost wasting the power. But the great thing about it is because it's a 600, you can take it out on like your daily commute and really, really ride it. Um, it's got the different sports modes, I've just had it in A, it's got obviously the different ECU settings, you put it in C in the wet, which would allow you to use it as a commuter bike, unlike some of the others which are just taught all the time. I'm really, really impressed with this machine. Uh, I'm going to spend another kind of final day on it, or the next few days, giving my final thoughts on it, and then go and speak to Jason at Street Bike at it, and uh, hopefully you'll like some of the sound it makes, because the exhaust is amazing, but I'm really impressed. Anyway, I even just got back from snowboarding, that's off to cricket for me now, so until next time, uh, my illustrious compadres, ride safe.